Hey, it's Jeremy again here at the Ontario Regiment RCAC Museum in Oshawa, part of our virtual remembrance, having a closer look at our six part documentary series, Remembrance. And today we're gonna to look at part two called All Hands on Deck. So uh, yesterday we looked at the Friday, uh, Saturday, we call it All Hands on Deck because uh, you know a lot of our volunteers um, are still currently working. Some of them are serving, many of them are students and they can't make it in on Friday. So on Saturday was our first opportunity really to have the whole team together. And you can really see that in the film. Uh, you can see a lot of new faces, a lot of activity, you know, all over the place in the museum. Also, um, the O Group, as I discussed yesterday, is opened by museum president, Alan Duffy. You get to see him in this video. Uh, he actually takes part in all of the O Groups here. Um, usually giving a large overview before the ops team gets into sort of the nitty gritty of what's going on in the operation. So there's a lot of Al here and his team and talking about how we broke up into sort of the uh, uh, small groups. And that's because this uh, convoy was so large it could no longer be controlled uh, just by a few people. So we had to have sort of a squadron leader uh, for the six different groups that we broke up, these or packets that we broke up uh, the convoy into and each one of them uh, had a had a uh, group leader who was responsible for looking after all the vehicles in their group if something happened along the convoy uh, and there was a vehicle breakdown or if the convoy got broken up the police escort uh, didn't hold it together each of those groups would have to out there on the streets in the city have to be able to move independently uh, and that's why we went with that concept. You also see that they're talking about comms checks and, and they're working on the communications equipment, both in ta uh, tank uh, comms and also the man packs, uh, because there was over 80 people involved in the convoy to remembrance. So communication um, was important for safety and key to get that convoy um, to the cenotaph. You see that at the end of, the, of uh, this part, you see the maps there and every day uh, we went over the operational plan with the team. Uh, there was a 14 page off order, there was maps, there was handouts to each uh, squadron and uh, it was up to the team in the weeks leading up, even before this video was taken, to study and know the plan backward and forth and also all the contingency and emergency plans if something went wrong. So enjoy, this is part two of our documentary, Remembrance, All Hands on Deck. Well, we got a hell of a day ahead of us. Seven, eight years ago, we were parading three or four vehicles on a Memorial Day. Look what we're doing now. This is the most well-organized thing that I've seen. I see the ops orders, I see the organization, I see the people here, I see the people dedicated that have been here all week. And here we are, the Ontario Regiment Museum, doing a 45 vehicle road move with tanks and armor included. It is an incredible undertaking and we are doing something that is absolutely historic here in Canada. This year, the convoy is so massive, we are breaking up into six independent squadrons. There has been a squadron leader assigned to each one. Find your name, find your squadron leader. Why did he have to be in our group? <laughs> First parades are like a pre-start checklist. So you check over all your systems, make sure they're sound and ready for operation. It's pretty comprehensive, but it's necessary. We're just doing a comms check right now, making sure all our radios are working for the convoy tomorrow. Just, just push it right in. No, it, it is. Eh? It is. Yeah. You can see it's just kind of old. Right. As long as it makes content. Right. The whole squadron concept and everything is really working well. They've got uh, people working on their vehicles and the vehicles in their squadron. So the squadrons are pulling together and Peter's helping Paul and really good. I 
I've been volunteering now will be five years. <laughs> I love working with vehicles and a majority of my family has been in the military service so I need to do them some respect. I'm uh, one of the original members. I've been here 35 years. We started with nine ferret set scout cars. Now here we are today moving uh, 42 vehicles in, the, in this parade. It's amazing. The finest automotive grease you can find. There are bearings and rods or whatever inside here. I'm not quite sure what makes them go, but you do want to make sure to deduplicate it because if you don't, it gets overly hot and then the thing falls off and you have a road wheel pair go careening down past the front of your tank. I'm cleaning a bit. This is my leopard. I just want to make sure that it's uh, it's been hosed down, it's been cleaned up, but I want to just give it, make it shine that much more. Although we are a museum, we are an accredited Canadian Armed Forces Museum, and the bubblegum chewing public, when they see you in those vehicles, to them you represent the Army. So you will act in a way that is becoming of a serving person on Remembrance Day. Here is the museum, and this is the route we will be taking. Stevenson to Adelaide. Adelaide, all the way across to Mary. Mary down to Richmond, and then the marshalling area at the Armory. We are rolling under police escort through all lights, through all stop signs at 30 kilometers an hour. We go as a team, we come back as a team, and we will celebrate and debrief as a team. I will see you at 0700 tomorrow morning right here. Thank you.